Hello everyone and welcome back. I came across this game and got curious about it, because the description seemed to suggest that it mixes parts of games that are played in the past. The game is set in an abandoned cityscape populated with robots. You're supposed to be able to fight them and break pieces off them during combat. That seemed to sound like Horizon Zero Dawn, a game that I played on stream in the past. The other feature that drew my attention was that it had crafting and base building mechanics. I've enjoyed my time with Medieval Dynasty, another game that has those features that I've enjoyed in the past. That was my first impression from just looking at the description. I'll speak about my experiences as we go on. I understand that the prologue is meant to be followed by the early access version of the full game. To my mind this means that the game is still in the equivalent of the very early stages of development. It's worth keeping that in mind when looking at it. You can get access to this demo on Steam and I believe that it's free to install. The full version is meant to have more features like multiplayer, though I haven't seen any information on whether it's going to be only multiplayer or have separate single and multiplayer modes. When you first start a new game, it'll spawn you somewhere on the map without any items. Evidently, civilization has collapsed, but other than that, there's no backstory given to us. The demo plays in single save Iron Man mode, but manually deleting the save and restarting a few times seems to put you in the same location. I assume that the spawn points will be randomized in the full game. When you die you'll respawn in the same spot, or on a bed you've constructed. Your items are dropped when you died, and you can get them back, but other than that there's no permanent penalty from dying. And generally, you should expect to die a few times before you get the hang of things. The demo will have goals on the top left of the screen to guide you. Some things aren't obviously clear, so I try to explain how to get things done. The environment is a nice looking forest biome, with a ruined city in the distance. The first thing you'll need to do is harvest trees and bushes for materials and food. You'll have to eat, but there don't seem to be any other survival mechanics and going hungry will lead to damage over time until you eat. But this isn't a game that I'd consider to be survival focused. Right now berries are enough to keep you fed, and bushes are abundant enough that you shouldn't starve if you pay a bit of attention. But one comment I'd make is that food drops very quickly, and you need a lot of berries to be fully fed, so there'll be times when you have to focus on harvesting bushes. The first tool you'll be crafting is the pickaxe. It allows you to harvest rocks that you'll come across. Once you have stone, wood and twine, you'll be able to craft all wooden class weapons and tools. One thing I noticed is that the item names don't necessarily reflect what they're made of. The stone pickaxe doesn't need stone, only wood and twine. But the wooden sword and wooden pistol need stone and so does the torch. So I might find that it breaks immersion or causes confusion. But once you've done it a few times, it should be fairly straightforward. It's true that the crafting system is simplistic, but at the end of the day, the game's focus is combat, so you shouldn't expect anything too complex on this front. Items have conditioned meters, and as you use them, they'll wear down. The pistol and other ranged weapons don't need separate ammunition. You can think of their condition as being equivalent to ammo. In order to craft better gear, you'll need to build a base. First you have to claim the land. Then build a foundation. I ran into a bug where I laid a foundation piece on my character and I got stuck on it. There didn't seem to be any way to move or destroy the piece and I had to delete the save and start over. So make sure to avoid installing building blocks on yourself. I did report this to the developers, so hopefully it should be gone in the full version. You can also build walls to keep hostile robots out. Another bug I ran into was that the door seems to be too small for me to go through. Right now we can use either wood or stone, and later on metal, but I haven't seen anything to indicate whether it's worth investing in better materials. Overall the harvesting and base building reminds me of the tiny bit I played of Rust, so I'm guessing the devs took inspiration from that. Whatever material you use, after you have a basic base, you'll need to build crafting benches. For that you'll need parts from robots. The robots in the game are divided into separate classes based on their size. At the moment the only ranged weapon we have is a pistol. If you aim down the sights, the robot parts will be highlighted. If you shoot these, they'll cause extra damage and detach, 
similar to the way it happens in Horizon Zero Dawn. The robots we've seen so far will be fairly docile, unless you get too close. But once you shoot them, they'll charge straight at you. It's a good idea to be ready for this, so either prepare for melee, or shoot from somewhere that's difficult for the robot to reach. Sometimes sprinting seems to work, but don't bet on it. Walls don't always keep the robots away. The wall over in this corner didn't keep big robots away, but that could be because it's on a hill. Once they get damaged enough, the robot will flee. But they regenerate health and might come back at you, so be mindful of that. One key aspect is that you have to shoot the parts off before killing the robots. Once they're dead, you can only harvest scrap metal, not parts. Another thing to note is that the lootable parts are the only parts you can target. Hitting them anywhere else makes no difference generally. For example, you can't shoot the legs off to slow them down. The exception is a small staggering animation when you hit them on the head. But to go back to my initial impression about similarities with Horizon Zero Dawn, the robots have less parts you can target, and the behavior of the robots doesn't change based on how much damage they've taken. So far I've not seen any robots with ranged weapons, or any melee attack other than just charging you. The attack animations aren't there yet, so you'll simply take damage when they're near enough. There are promises of more features, and variety on robots based on Steam wishlist targets. So this may change over time. The strategy primarily consists of making sure you can put enough damage on robots to keep them from getting too close. Once you have some small robot parts, you can build crafting benches. Small robot parts are used to craft a stone workbench, and that gives you stone weapons. You get improved versions of the pistols and swords you can make already, but you also get shotguns and sniper weapons. The next tier of crafting involves metal. You can use picks on abandoned cars in the city to get metal ore. Then you use a smelter to get metal bars. You can use that metal to craft metal weapons like rocket launchers and assault rifles. As you craft and fight, you'll gain levels. Each gives you points to spend on improving the stats you can see in the inventory screen. At the moment, it doesn't look like you can craft anything other than weapons. But the inventory screen seems to show slots for wearable items, so it seems likely that that will happen in the future. The game allows you to make your own robots to ride and fight for you. For that, you'll need three things. A blueprint, robot parts, and iron sheets. Different robots require different amounts of materials, and they're listed in their blueprint. To get a blueprint, you'll need a scanner. You can get one at the stone crafting table. It looks like a gun, but it's used to scan robots from close range by aiming at them. This is a bit fiddly, and doing it without combat will take some care to stay close enough to continue the scan, but not close enough to aggro the robot. For iron sheets, you need to defeat robots to get salvaged iron. You turn them into iron sheets at the smelter. Once you have the right materials, you'll need to take them to the beacons. They spawn randomly throughout the map, and they have different colors for each type. Blue for small robots, and yellow for medium ones. The beacons are guarded by robots of similar size as the ones you can construct there. Once you've cleared them, you can construct your own. Robots can be used to aid you in battle, or as mounts. The prologue doesn't have these features yet, but it looks like you can use them as beasts of burden, and control their behavior by an interaction menu. Building a robot is optional, however. There's a green beacon in the city. It marks a tall building that you'll have to conquer. Each level is filled with small-sized robots, so you'll have to bring as much firepower as possible. Rocket launchers and assault rifles are a must. Once you reach the top level, there'll be a book that will give you 10 skill points. It's also the end of the prologue. I've already commented on a few things, but let me add a few more general comments on my experience with the game. The environment is pretty good for an alpha. From a distance, the woods look quite nice, and the sunlight playing through them is aesthetically pleasing. The trees and bushes could use more detail at close range though. The game does have a very strong contrast between light and shadow, to the point where you sometimes have to use a torch in broad daylight, just because you're in a shadow. The buildings need a lot of work, 
that assume that they are currently placeholders. More variety and density would be nice, and perhaps a way to interact with them and with the outside world. If there's going to be combat with robots and other players, it would be a gap if you couldn't use buildings as strong points and maybe even permanent bases to maintain control over an area. So at the very least, it should be possible to shoot at things through the windows in high rises. Interior defensive measures, maybe even allow rocket launchers to destroy parts of buildings, but that might be a reach. When it comes to inventory management, item stacks can't be split. That's okay in your base, you can just pull the stack, use as much of it as you want and put the rest back into storage. But it becomes a problem when looking for a beacon to craft robots. You'll probably end up overweight and won't be able to run. Lights on robots. Release the ability to hold your torch when mounted. is essential for moving about at night. At the moment you can't see what's ahead of you. Speaking of robots, this also brings us to the question of what the game's focus is meant to be and how multiplayer will affect it. Is the game meant to be a PvP experience, with robots just a source of crafting resources? Then it may be the case that the current robot system is perfectly fine, because crafting and PvE combat is just a vehicle to gather materials for the real focus of fighting other players. Or does the game have a stronger PvE focus, with robots being a key goal for players? Then robots will need much more complexity, more parts that you can target, not just craftable resources. Behavior needs to be more complex and depending on overall damage and damage to individual parts. Overall the concept has potential, but at the moment the prologue feels like it lacks design focus. That could be because the prologue is an early demonstration of the concept, so the game systems are only skeletons and plans may already exist on how to flesh them out. But yes, this is still very early in development, so it's too early to be too specific with commentary. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Let me know what you thought about in the comments. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified when new videos come out. See you soon.